In this video, we're going to be flashing Harry Bean 2.3. This is going to be the how to install. In the description below, I will link to my video on how to downgrade the bootloader from 4.2 to 4.1 in case you're wanting to go back to like, I don't know, Cyanjamod or the 100% stock ROM like this. I mean, I just flashed custom recovery. I don't even have root access at the moment because I don't need it since I'm flashing this ROM. So we're just going to go ahead and power this thing down. We are on the 100% st official stock 4.1.1 ROM. If you go to the ASUS website and you download their little 104218 zip and you flash that. So I can also link to my Transformer Prime playlist in the description below, which has all of my videos, including how to root the very latest Jelly Bean uh, and install custom recovery. So we're going to hold volume down and power until we see this little screen right here here and then we're going to press volume up and that's going to get us into our uh brand new torp recovery that we just flashed via fast boot on our windows 7 computer so from here we're going to choose install so up here we're going to choose micro sd and we're going to press ok and then from here we're going to choose the upgrade harry bean bootloader and twerp so we're going to go ahead and swipe that and it's going to upgrade us from 4.1.1 to 4.2.1 bootloader and I'm um, going to go ahead and press that, press do not install and then once this is done, there's just going to be this little blue bar that fills up and you're going to need to wait until this fills up all the way because as of right now, it's it's upgrading it from that 4.1.1 bootloader to 4.2.1 so you'll want to wait for this to finish. It will take a few minutes. Once it's done, it will take us into the brand new Twerp recovery that's meant specifically for the 4.2.1 bootloader. You absolutely do not want to go to the Twerp thread or page or whatever and download Twerp on your own and install it. You, you absolutely want to use uh, the Twerp that comes with Harry Bean. That with this up, up with this zip right here, the torp that you're gonna have after this is done and reboots us back into recovery, you want to stay on that unless the OP specifically has like an upgrade there, uh, an upgrade to their custom torp recovery meant for the 4.2.1 bootloader. If you try to flash a 4.1.1 torp recovery, or uh, well, Clockwork doesn't even have for what are you talking about? Clockwork, sure. No, we're not doing it. But if you try to flash a 4.1.1 recovery on here, it's going to break it. You're going to need your NV flash, and you're going to need to go back to stock. That's just a little disclaimer there. So it looks like we're done here. It's going to reboot us back into Torp recovery. And from here, we're going to need to install that ROM. All right. Uh, inst come on. All right. And then from here... Uh, you're going to just choose wipe, advanced wipe, and then Dalvik, system, cache, data, and internal storage. Those are the options I would choose if you're wanting to start completely fresh. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and swipe to wipe. And then it's going to wipe everything. All right, that takes just a second. We're also going to go back. All right, install. Uh, choose the micro SD, press OK, and then, oh, he updated it to 2600, very nice. And we're going to choose this Harry Bean 2.3, and we're going to swipe to install. And this should uh, be good to go from here. It's an Aroma installer. Trust me, I'm not a big fan of them, but sometimes they're necessary. So you agree to the terms. Uh... Dude, please tell me you wiped. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, you see what happens to the Nokia phone of the Transformer Prime. Imagine what. Yeah, thank you. So, yeah. Uh, next, Harry Bean 2.3. Oh, wait. It tells you what they upgraded. Go back. Rebuilt from new 10.61271 base. Uh, new kernel, data to SD. Uh, updated all Google. Oh, cool. So, it's. Uh, we are on the Transformer Prime right there, TF201, so we're going to go ahead and press next. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and install Gmail. I don't need email with Exchange. Uh, Google Now is awesome. Um, I'm not going to install the YouTube APK because I want to install the inverted APK that's available on the XDA forums. It's a modded YouTube app that lets you play 1080p and stuff. So I use the heck out of some Google Music, uh, Hangouts. Uh, this is kind of cool. I like being able to choose which stuff you get 
and you don't get. So I don't use that, not that, 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 that. I, <laughs> I use uh, Google Keep, which syncs all your notes across all your devices. No parental lock, pin pad, none of that. Uh, I want the Asus battery widget and um, uh, whatever. We'll choose that one. And uh, no, I won't do that. So uh, my wallpaper, my frame. Uh, nope, none of that. So it's a backup. Hell yeah. Uh, I use ad free. I, I don't know. I've just always used it for years now. Lag fix. See, this is... This is one thing that I'm not a fan of when it comes to Roman installers. I, I want lag fix. Like, it sounds like it's a good thing, but I don't want to sit there and choose every single option and have something that conflicts with something else. So, ES File Explorer, I just use Root Explorer. Um, if you don't, if you haven't paid for Root Explorer, go ahead and check that. It's an awesome file manager, but Root Explorer, I like it better. So, all right, Facebook, I don't use that. Dropbox, I do use that. So, there we go. Next. This <laughs> another thing. Do we check everything in here or um, do we like be careful what we check? That's why I wish there was a like a default installation button and then you press next and it installed everything that the developer wanted to be installed with his ROM. So if, if you're listening, please have a default installation button where like the user doesn't have to go through here and check all this stuff. Like uh, uh, not that, not that, not that, not that, uh, stock framework, uh, the kernel, um, reverse axis, install now. So there we go. We finally got to the end. It's installing. It's going to reboot. Uh, well, it's going to be done, have a reboot into the system, and then we'll go from there. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this. All right, we're good to go. So we can hit finish and then finish and then it's reboot system and we're good to go. We have Flash Andrew Rook Harry Bean 2.3 on our Asus Transformer Prime. Oh, it went to a black screen for a minute. I was like, what the heck's going on? So here's the new boot thing. All right. United States. Like the OP says, you'll want to go ahead and wait 20 to 30 minutes for it to build the cache and to, uh, that's a neat little keyboard. It's like blue. That's awesome. You want to wait like, you know, 20 to 30 minutes for your ROM to settle down and everything. And then after a couple, a reboot or two, it should be smoking fast. Go ahead and connect to my, uh, internet. Auto sync. Uh, you can add your Google account at this time. I'm just going to choose no and then not now. And I'm going to go ahead and skip that. Next. Uh, choose my time central. And then. Now we're done. We are on Harry Bean 2.3. Okay, so here's something I want to go ahead and show you real quick before I end this video. Um, you have the normal launcher down here, right? Like this, uh, like back home, recent apps, and then your little thing right here. Well, if you go to, I'll show you how to get there manually, actually. So you just go here, you press the little settings button, you go down to a launcher, and you choose switch to the new 4.2 launcher. Press OK. It's going to shut the device down and reboot it. And when it does, you're going to have the normal 4.2 launcher that you would see on devices such as the 2012 Nexus 7 we got here. So you got like the home button, the recent apps button, and you're gonna see that on the Transformer Prime here in just a second. So, all right, see, look, home, back, recent apps, and then like if you drag down this side, you get access to your notifications. And if you drag down this side, you get access to your uh, like settings and battery and stuff. I'm not a big fan of it because you've got this room right here being uh, used at all times and you have this one right here. So I like I like the old way like you have with your, uh, the official ROM from ASUS where you have back, home, recent apps, and then down here you have your notifications and you get to your settings and everything. So you just have one little bar taking up space on your home, like on your 
turn to our prime screen instead of having space up here being used at all times and space right here being used at all times. She actually had more screen real estate with the old launcher from like 4.1. So it's, it's completely up to you. If you like the 4.2 launcher, use that. It gives you the option. But if you like the old 4.1 launcher, you can go, you can keep using that. So it's pretty awesome. You have choices. If you don't like something, you can change it. It's the beauty of Android. All right, here we go. See, you've got all this screen real estate up here that's no longer being stolen by the uh, like status and or the notifications and the settings. All of it's right here. So I, oh, that's Google now. I don't want to launch Google now. But yeah, so there you are. Uh, freaking awesome. Freaking, freaking awesome. So you have Root through SuperSU, which is the best app that lets you manage your super user permissions. A very clean, look at that, just like one page of apps. Of course, if you choose Google Plus, if you don't choose Google Plus, and you don't choose like this, and you don't choose that, there'll be even less apps in your thing. So it's awesome. You get to choose what you want and what you don't want. So, yeah. Huge shout out to Flumpster and all of the people working on the Andrew Rook Harry Bean team because I've been using this ROM for uh, a little while now. I did that video a while back recording my uh, Transformer Prime because it has an HDMI out port on it. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. It's just a small request, but trust me, it goes a long way. And if you're new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe. I am upgrading to the Transformer Pad Infinity when that comes out. The new one with the Taker 4 processor and like the 2560 by 1600 or 1660 or whatever crazy resolution that you see in the Nexus 10. Uh, powered by that Taker 4. It's in my NVIDIA Shield that I did an unboxing video on and I will root that thing shortly. Getting the Note 3 and the Moto X. So please subscribe for many, many more videos coming very soon. This is What Would Josh Do and I'm out.